Welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2019, and we are very, very excited to have Ellis in the studio with us today. Take it away. Tree Live with Ellis. That was beautiful. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Really good. Oh, yeah, good. How about you? I'm doing very well. It looks beautiful in here. You guys all look very good. Cool. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you guys drive through the... So you guys came from Austin, correct? Yep. Did you guys drive through the night to get here? We had two days to get here, so it, okay, wasn't, good. it wasn't too bad. But I'm the only uh, driver, so it was, it was a long, a lot of long drives. I can't believe this. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just kidding. I won't blame you. No, for you can it. give them a hard time. It's fine. How how has this happened? Uh, lack of responsibility and practice. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. But do you get do you get uh, do you get good things in return for having driven the entire way this entire tour? Yeah, I always get the best bed. Okay, good. Um, and I 
I'm the boss. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that, that is a good thing to have in return. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but you guys, so you were at your first South by Southwest as a performer, correct? Yeah. How was your experience? It was good. It was uh, chaotic. Mm-hmm. Uh, we played f- five shows. Um, it, it could have been more chaotic, but it was but like, five, yeah, five it was busy. Is a lot. It was busy. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. Yeah. I've been before um, not as a performer, and I found it even more chaotic than, to be honest. So I was thinking that, because I, I went for my first time. I got back yesterday, so I, was, yeah. I went for my first time. And I was like, to go as a performer seems to be like, because you have very specific places that you need to be at a specific time totally. in order to like sound check, and then you know where you're going to be at a specific time. But like as a person who was there for like for work and then to just sort of like see shows, I was sort of just wandering around yeah. like Red River with whatever street that is. Yeah. I was being like, oh, I'll just I'll guess I'll go here. Like, totally. Yeah. It was kind of <laughs> nice. We knew what we were doing every day. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you have a favorite moment? Oh, favorite moment. Um, that's a good question. Anybody can weigh in if I saw Young Lean. That was pretty awesome. That is cool. Yeah. Where at? Uh, it was called like Maine or something. Okay. With Tie Boy Digital and Blade. It nice. Was, it was awesome. We played with a super cool group from Norway, I think, called Das Body. Uh huh. They were really awesome. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Then <laughs> do you have a a highlight of South by Southwest? I, like, it was some of, like, m- there are a couple of my favorite shows that we've played, I think. That's so, cool. Yeah. It felt really cool to be so far away from home. Yeah. And, and people were, like, engaging with the songs. That, that was, was really like, cool. Yeah. And this is your first tour that you've been on, correct? Yeah, it's my first tour ever. How, yeah. how is the, t- do you enjoy tour? It's been, like, a doozy of a first tour. Yeah. Because we drove, like. Hamilton to New York to oh. Austin to Chicago. Oh my God! Yeah, so that was like the that those were the cities we hit up, and and we played like fourteen shows, I think, between yeah. the three. Um, so it was like a lot of playing and a lot of driving. But now oh, yeah. I feel like I can do any tour. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually I feel like tours like I like I went on a small thing and it was just like Nashville to like. Asheville to like Richmond right so it was like four hour drives but you had like you were like traversing a whole country yeah totally yeah yeah so yeah, I you think can definitely good... do anything now yeah I'm like yeah. ready now yeah, yeah I'm like good I'm like too ready yeah you sort of like rip the band-aid off yeah yeah it's the way sure. to do it actually I think <laughs> yeah. all right well I'm excited to hear your next two songs cool. thank you for being here yeah thank you so much for having us this is awesome of course
much.
watching Under Tree Live with Ellis. That song is so good. I listened to it probably like six times today. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's really good. I'm so sorry. I got a tickle in my throat. Oh, so, I mean, <coughs> driving a million hours a day will do that to you. Sorry, everyone. No, dude. Bless you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so I did want to talk to you a little bit. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, I want you to be able to breathe. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, songwriting, and so there was a you did a uh, you did an interview with Hooligan Mag, which I actually I love that out, that magazine. They're so good. They're such good people over there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but and you said something about how uh, writing a song about something is sort of like taking ownership and having power over it. So could you like explain that a little bit? Because I feel like I know what you're saying, but I'd totally. love for you to expand on that. Yeah, I think like uh, songwriting or talking about feelings, I think in general, has like this like feminine or like weak like mm -hmm. connotation. And I think that's kind of bullshit. Like I think being vulnerable is really takes a lot of strength. And I think, yeah, like turning it over on its head, taking like a shitty experience or some feeling and and taking the power away from it and like and owning it is yeah. like a really cool thing or taking something shit and like making it beautiful and feeling proud of it. Yeah, I totally agree. And I think that like it's you write a song about it and then the fact that you're on stage singing about it in front of people, that's like another level of something where it's like, look how much this feeling can't own me. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Totally. I feel that for sure. Yeah. Um, so were you, when you r have been writing songs, were you always this vulnerable in your songwriting or did it come with time? Um, yeah, I think sort of. I'm sort of like guilty of wearing my heart on my sleeve. Mm -hmm. But I think that there was like some shame maybe associated with it before or shyness or something. Yeah. Um, it was until recently I was just like, hell yeah, I'm just going to do this yeah. and like put it out there and like feel proud of it. And mm -hmm. um, so it's sort of been a long time coming, but only recently something I feel um, confident in, in doing. Yeah. And your songs in the, for the most part are autobiographical, right? Extremely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's one, one thing where, cause <laughs> do you ever find that to be limiting in your songwriting? Um, unfortunately, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> a lot of feelings. <laughs> yeah, a lot I actually, feelings. Uh, again, in the Hooligan Magazine thing, uh, you said you're a Pisces. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. You too. Was Thank your birthday you. like four days ago? Yeah, 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 it was. I, it was like while we were at South By. Happy birthday. Yeah. Do you Thank feel you. particularly Pisces-y? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen me on my birthday. Like... <laughs> Or not seeing me yeah. because I was <laughs> crying all day. Dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was like, of course this would happen. It's like the most classic Pisces uh -huh. birthday I could have ever had. Very I was, emotional. Yeah, I was, like, resistant, to, like, for a long time to, like, astrology and mm -hmm. everything. And then I was someone read to me what a Pisces is like, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can't deny it. Like, I can't. Yeah, I, I'm kind either. of, like, one foot in, one foot out with it, to be honest. Yeah, same. But it resonates very deeply with me. Yeah. I'm, like, very textbook. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I, just, like, a side thing. I was saw Fleetwood Mac in concert a few weeks ago, oh. and the minute they got on stage, I just started crying. <laughs> yeah. I was like, are you kidding that me? That sounds about right. Yeah. I was like, can I just control this for, like, one second? <laughs> but, it, but, I mean, like, for songwriting, it works out pretty well. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can just be like, listen, here are my feelings. This is how it's gonna go. Yeah, take them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I had a question, and now <coughs> I forgot it. It was about songwriting. If I'll just ask you afterwards if it comes to me. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Totally. We can just talk forever. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much your for last song. having us. Yeah. Cool. This you guys is are like really our great. Last stop on our first tour, so it's really special. Oh, I'm so glad you're here.
Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Um, it, the Fuzz, their EP is out now on Fat Possum Records. And if you are in Chicago, they will be at Shuba's tonight. And it's a free show, so absolutely go. Um, they're playing with Not For You and another band that I can't remember right now. I'm oh, so sorry. I think they're called Fovely. They're called Fovely. Oh, gosh. Yes, them. <laughs> um, and so thank you guys so much for being here. Thank, thank you, you to the camera and lighting crew. Thank you. Thank you to the audio engineers over there in the studio and Keelan and Ellie. And uh, <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Um, download this session when it comes out in a few weeks. And it will also be available on Apple Music, Spotify, Bandcamp, iTunes. Most places you can find music. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> All right. So you guys want to do it for real now?